Hello everyone, this is Justin Croxton from Ecomicon. I want to show everyone a tool that I use um, on a regular basis for global Amazon FBA selling. For those who don't know what global FBA Amazon means, this means that you are selling on Amazon private label. So you're taking products from, and you're purchasing products from suppliers in China and in India and other parts of the world, and you're putting your own label on those products you're shipping those to Amazon's fulfillment centers and you are selling your own products there from those Amazon fulfillment centers. The beauty with Amazon is that you can actually not only sell within your individual country, but you can also sell on an international global basis. So let's say, for example, if you're currently based in, let's say, uh, you the United States and you want to sell in the UK, you can, in fact, do that. You can source supplies and individual product from China, put your own label on it and sell there in the UK or in Germany or in Japan or in France or in Spain, even in Italy. But the question becomes, you know, if I want to do that, I want to create my own listing in Amazon, I want to source my own products and start selling in these individual countries, how do I know that I'm going to be successful based on the individual keywords that I need to do research on in that native language, in that native tongue. Because I'm, I'm sure, I mean, for me, I, I don't speak multiple languages. I speak only English, unfortunately. Uh, I knew Spanish way back in the day, back when I was in college and in, in high school, but I've forgotten most of it. And that certainly doesn't help me if I want to sell in Spain, and it certainly does not help if I want to sell in, let's say, Italy or in Germany. And Germany is actually a really big market. So, you know, how do we go about figuring out how we can go through that process of finding those keywords, both English as well as in Spanish or in German or whatever it may be. So Google Translate is, is, is the solution to that. And this is what I use on a regular basis. So let's go here. Let's say, all right, I want to start a brand in Germany and I want to be a travel brand. For me, I'm more of a brand person. I'll, I try not to just focus on the product. I try to think brand and see what, what other things under that brand that I can create. So for, let's say, if we want to go down the travel route, we say uh, travel, we may consider, you know, like the selfie stick, or we may consider like, you know, a camera case, or we also might consider a fanny pack. Fanny pack actually sounds like a pretty good one. So. We'll go to Google, we'll type in Google Translate. Google has like its own search bar that allows you to immediately put the information in there. And let's say we wanna focus on the German market. And you see I have this already pre-populated here. So I'll do a search, fanny pack. These are the results that come up. You can see that the, the results are really not that good to be honest with you, particularly for the keyword fanny pack which tells me that there are other German keywords that can be leveraged and they're just not being leveraged um, uh, throughout these different listings. So I need to figure out what the actual translation is so I can leverage that a little bit more successfully. So we'll come here, we'll type in fanny pack. Mm, it doesn't really, doesn't really work from English to English, but we're not trying to do English to English. We're trying to go from English to uh, German. So once we make that change, you can see here how we've been able to translate fanny pack over into the German portion of it, which I'm not even going to butcher that because I don't even know how to say that personally. But then I'll take that individual keyword and I'll paste it into Amazon. And now this makes a lot more sense. You can see all the folks that are ranking for the keyword fanny pack. And let's go to this guy over here, Jack Wolf, this Wolfskin. They may be an actual official brand that's been selling. They're not even private label. That might be a much bigger brand than that. But if I scroll down here, you can see that these guys have a 210 bestseller rank, which means out of all the bestsellers in this category, they're ranked in at number 210 in sports and leisure. And so for me, when I look at that, these guys have to be selling at least, I would say personally, they're probably selling at least, mm, I'd say 20 to 25 a day. And I think that actually might be a little conservative. But it's just good information to know. You can see that these guys, they only have one picture. They only have just a few, uh, what's here, uh, a few bullet points on their benefits. They don't even really have a description. And they're still selling a whole lot. 
But that's not the point here. The point is, how can we take advantage of Google Translate to find those proper keywords um, that we can add and, and find sort of the right products that we can sell on Amazon on a global basis? So that gives you a good sense of how to use Google Translate. The other way is you can go, you can actually transcribe some of your emails. Now, it's not a perfect system, but let's say if you want to transcribe a little bit more inf info and you want to translate a document, or if you want to take an email that you want to send through your autoresponder that you send to your buyers in Germany or France or Spain and Japan, you can take that entire test, plop it into here, and you can say, all right, hello, Justin, thank you for purchasing my item on Amazon.de. You can say it takes the entire thing, and even when you put your, your, your cursor around it, it even highlights it so you know what that individual word is and what it means from English to German for that matter. So, hello, hello, Justin, danke für den Kauf mein Inseltel auf Amazon.de. I know I did a bad job, but I had to give it a try. So, Google Translate is very powerful. It's even more powerful when you combine that with the Google Keyword Planner. We're going to do a separate tutorial on how to use both of them together. Um, but if you're doing any form of Amazon selling, uh, anything whatsoever, Google Translate is absolutely crucial. You will use this tool so often. Um, and obviously, you know, if you just want to use this in general, you certainly can. If you want to translate certain words, you know, and you don't do anything that's Amazon based, of course you can use it for that. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I wanted to show folks that are interested or are currently selling on an international basis how to leverage Google Translate to translate your words, your keywords, and your listings so you can find the keywords that you can leverage for your, um, for your product listings. Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to any questions or anything that you want to comment on. I greatly appreciate it. Take care.